earlier today, we were in Kingsland, where residents are now getting to assess the damage left behind by floodwaters. Whoa, my boat. Oh, jeez. With daybreak upon Kingsland, many who evacuated returned in hopes of finding something left. Cool. Evacuees like Pat Muller and Susan Patton. The Valentine Lakeside Resort owners say they got lucky as the Lano River backs up to their property. It didn't get up this high. It got, it got to here because there's dirt. They lost a fishing dock, a boat, and currently can't access their well-based water system due to sand that has washed up on their property. But their cabins didn't flood. That wasn't the case for many in the area. The water just kept on coming. Just down the road near the 1431 bridge along the Colorado River, Patricia Hinnicky lost it all. I'm still in shock right now, y'all. Hinnicky and her husband stayed behind, watching from their second story floor as the water kept rushing in. We didn't know if the house was going to tumble down or what was going to happen. Inside, the flood left its mark. It's full of mud. I mean, it's in my refrigerator, it's in my stove, it's in all my cabinets. All she can do now is salvage whatever is left. And I'm sure we'll get it all back together. And then maybe I'll move. In Lano County, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. Mm, that's tough. Here's some insight into what sort of environmental impacts all this flooding can have on an area. A professor from the University of Hawaii says that flooding disrupts the normal drainage system in cities and can lead to sewer system overflow. So raw sewage spills are common during flooding. If it's bad enough, toxic materials like paints, pesticides, and gasoline can be released into the environment.